Hi Ranch Fam, this is Jima. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. What I'm bringing you guys today are Dollar General deals you can do any day this week. This video I feel is an excellent video for holiday food. Okay, all of them are gonna be food scenarios. They're excellent out of pockets. I wanted to share them with you. The holidays are just around the corner and I know we're looking for the best food deals possible. So what I did is I combined digital coupons with the Dollar General sales and I came up with these scenarios. I hope they are of benefit to you guys because I think they are excellent out of pocket. Uh, let's go on ahead and get started on them. Like I say, they, these are food scenarios. And as long as, as, long as you follow me on uh, my must clip digital coupons, uh, you'll be able to do these deals as well as deals on Saturday for five off at 25. That video will be coming to you guys shortly as well. But let's get started with these. Like I say, these are deals you could do any day this week. With the first scenario, we're going to pick up two of the cap and crunch cereal these are the dollar bags you can get this one here or you can pick up this flavor as well we need two bags they're a dollar a piece the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick up five of the 1.25 liters of pepsi you can either pick up the regular pepsi or you can pick up the Diet Pepsi. Again, these are the 1.25 liters at $1, and we need five of them. We're gonna pick up three bags of the Santitas chips. These are on sale, three for $3. Excellent deal already. Let's pick up three bags. And we're gonna pick up one of the Nivea Moisturizer Cream Tin. These are the one ounce for $1. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's pick up one. Then we're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our $1 DQ for Quaker will come off. Our $3 Pepsi DQ will come off. And our $2 for Nivea will come off. Okay, so let's go over that again. We're gonna purchase two Cap'n Crunch cereal at $1. Five Pepsis, either regular Pepsi or Diet Pepsi, 1.25 liters at $1. Three Santitas chips at three for $3. And one Nivea cream tin, one ounce at $1. That gives you an $11 subtotal. We're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our Quaker DQ of $1 will come off. Pepsi DQ, $3. Nivea DQ, $2. That's $6 in coupons. $11 subtotal minus $6 in coupons, Ranch Fam, that's an out-of-pocket of $5. 11 items, 45 cents per item, excellent food scenario. We've got cereal, we've got drinks, chips, and we've got a Nivea uh, moisturizing cream for one uh, that we got for $1 because it is giving overage. Okay, that coupon is the Nivea coupon is glitching. So we got 11 items at 45 cents per item. Excellent deal. Let's go on ahead and go to our next scenario. Okay, Ranch Fam, before I start my next scenario, I am gonna be utilizing some digital glitch coupons as well as some paper glitch coupons. A glitch coupon is a coupon that is intended for that brand, but may not be intended for that specific product and or size therefore creating a glitch. When it comes to digital glitches, all you need to do is go into your Dollar General, shop for your items, put them up to the register, enter your number into the digital keypad, 
and those coupons will come off for those products. Your cashier has no control over what coupons come off of your account. Now, when you're working with paper coupons, those do work a little bit differently. If you have a coupon police as your cashier, you may not be able to take advantage of these glitches. But if your Dollar Generals are like the ones that I shop at, they'll accept any coupon that scans and up to five light coupons per transaction. Always keep in mind that these videos that I bring to you are for informational purposes only, and what works for some of us may not work for others. At the time of me filming this video, all of these glitches are active, but please remember a glitch can stop at any time. Okay, let's go on ahead and go to our next scenario. For this one here, we're gonna pick up five of the Pillsbury Grand's uh, biscuits, at a dollar eighty. Let's pick up five cans. Just in time for Thanksgiving, right? Let's get five cans. We're gonna get one Clover Valley all purpose flour at a dollar eighty five. Oh wow, I just thought of this. Biscuits and gravy. Right, we got the flour, we got the biscuits. Let's go out ahead and pick up one bag of flour at $1.85. I'm getting hungry just doing these scenarios. One Clover Valley vegetable oil at $2.35. Let's pick up two of the Purina Bag and Strips. These are the 1.25 ounce pouch at $1.00. You can either get bacon and cheese flavor, or you can get the original with bacon. You can mix or match, it doesn't matter, but we do need two bags. We're also gonna pick up two of the Rolaids Soft Chews at $1.50. You can find these up by the register uh, in the wire shelving. We need two of them. And we're gonna pick up six of the Russell Stover dark chocolate coconut candies. These are also found right up by the register in the wire shelving. These run 34 cents a piece and let's pick up six. Okay, we're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our $2 store coupon for the Pillsbury will come off, but if you notice, this store coupon is for Betty Crocker, Pillsbury, Gold, Metal, Flower, and uh, Bisquick products. For this scenario, we're going to utilize it for the Pillsbury. We did purchase $8, uh, $9 in Pillsbury, and this is save two when you spend eight. So we're going to utilize this coupon here of $2, and because this is a store coupon, we're going to be able to stack it with the $1 Pillsbury coupon. This is a manufacturer coupon. Keep in mind, when Dollar General offers store uh, coupons, you can stack them with a manufacturer coupon, either digital or paper. So for the Pillsbury, we're all together. We're getting $1 from the manufacturer coupon. We're gonna get $2 from the store coupon, okay? Then we're also gonna be utilizing our 35 cent Dollar General store coupon for the flour. 50 cent Dollar General store coupon for the vegetable oil. We're gonna hand over two of our $1.50 Bag and Strips paper coupons. We're gonna hand over two of our $2 Roll Aids coupons. And we're also going to give them three of our $1 Russell Stover paper coupons. Okay, so let's go over that again. We're going to purchase five Pillsbury Grand Biscuits at $1.80, one Clover Valley Flour at $1.85, one Clover Valley Vegetable Oil at $2.35, two Bag and Strips, 1.25 ounce, pouch at one dollar, two roll eight soft chews at 150, and six Russell Stover candies at 34 cents. That's twenty dollars and twenty-four cents. 
We're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our Pillsbury store DQ of $2 will come off. Pillsbury DQ, $1. Clover Valley flower store DQ, 35 cents. Clover Valley oil store DQ, 50 cents. We're gonna hand over $2.50 bag and strips paper coupons, totaling $3. Two of our $2 Roll Aids paper coupons, totaling $4, and three of our $1 Russell Stover paper coupons, totaling $3. That gives us $13.85 in coupons. 2024 minus $13.85 in coupons. Ranch Fam, $6.39 out of pocket. 17 items, 37 cents per item. Another great food scenario along with some paper coupons that are glitching and giving some overage. That's why I threw those in there. Okay, I'm trying to bring you all digital scenarios, some scenarios with paper coupons that are giving overage, just different ways that you guys can utilize your coupons. I hope these uh, scenarios give you guys ideas, tweak them to make them your own. But again, I'm just showing you what we can do with our digital and paper coupons combined with sales, excellent. Excellent scenarios. Okay. Now let's go on to our next scenario. Okay, for this one here, we're going to purchase five Pepsis, 1.25 liter at $1. You can either get the regular Pepsi or you can get the Diet Pepsi. It doesn't matter. You can mix or match, but we need five of them. Then we're gonna pick up two Betty Crocker cake mixes at $1. For scenario purposes, I am gonna show you two of them. It doesn't matter which ones you get, as long as they're $1, but we need to pick up two boxes. Then we're gonna pick up two Betty Crocker frostings. These are on sale this week, two for $3. Again, I'm just showing you some for scenario purposes, just be sure that when you guys pick, if you guys pick different flavors than what I show here, you be sure to scan to make sure that your digital coupons do attach. These are on sale this week, two for $3. We need two of them. Then we're gonna pick up two of the Betty Crocker muffin pouch at $1 a piece. And we're gonna pick up one of the Betty Crocker peanut butter cookie mix at $1. Okay, now I did show you the muffin pouch and the cookie mix. For scenario purposes, I just want you guys to see what it's working on. If you don't want the muffin mix and you want all cookie mix, that's fine. You could mix or match the dollar bags. Okay, but for scenario purposes, I'm just mixing it up a little so you guys know what's working with the digital coupons. Again, the peanut butter cookie mix, we need one. And we're going to pick up two of the Quaker Life cereals. These are on sale this week, two for $5. Again, for scenario purposes, I'm going to pick up one of the cinnamon. And I'm going to pick up one of the original. But you guys could mix or match. They're on sale this week, two for five. Let's pick up two. Then we're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad. And our $3 for Pepsi will come off. $2 Dollar General Store coupon for the Betty Crocker will come off. Okay, the scenario before this, we utilized it on the Pillsbury, okay? But we can also utilize it on the Betty Crocker. But uh, please keep in mind, these coupons are a one-time use. So depending on which scenario you guys decide to choose, uh, pick, um, it's only it, it's gonna come off for that scenario and it will no longer be available. But if you do have multiple accounts, then you can go on to the next scenario and do it on that account and you'll have another coupon available to you. Okay, but for this one here, we're utilizing this Dollar General Store coupon on the Betty Crocker items. We're spending $8 on Betty Crocker, so we're gonna save $2. We're gonna take advantage of the Dollar General Store coupon of $2 for the live cereal 
And because this is a store coupon, we're gonna be able to take advantage of the Dollar Quaker coupon. This is a manufactured coupon. Now, I did show the Life Cereal. They're on sale, two for $5. If you guys just go in and do the Life Cereal and utilize these two coupons, you're gonna be getting each box of cereal for $1 a box, okay? But I'm putting it in this scenario. But if you just go pick up Life Cereal, two for $5, you have uh, the $2 store coupon, which is this one, and you have the $1 coupon manufacturer, which is this one. $3 will come off. You'll pay $2 for two boxes of cereal. Hopefully, I didn't confuse you guys on that. Let's continue with this scenario, though. Okay, so we're going to have a dollar taken off as well as the Dollar General store coupon of $2 for the Quaker cereal. Okay, now let's go over that again. We're going to pick up five Pepsis at $1, two Betty Crocker cake mix at $1, two Betty Crocker frostings, two for $3, two Betty Crocker muffin mix at $1, one Betty Crocker cookie mix at $1, and two Quaker Life cereals that are on sale, two for $5. That's $18 subtotal. We're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our Pepsi DQ of $3 will come off, Betty Crocker store DQ $2, Quaker store DQ $2, and Quaker DQ $1. That's $8 in coupons. $18 minus $8 in coupons, Gives us an out-of-pocket ranch fam of $10. 14 items, 71 cents per item is an excellent deal. This is an all-food scenario at 71 cents per item. You can't go wrong. And it's an all-digital scenario. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, I am bringing you all-digital scenarios, paper and digital coupon scenarios. And again, just make them work the way you need them to work for yourself. Okay, I am adding some paper coupons in them that have overage to bring you out of pocket lower. Now, for example, I did this as an all digital scenario, but if you got glitch coupons, paper coupons that are giving you overage and you wanna throw it in this scenario, makes for an even better out of pocket. But if not, $10 is not a bad deal for everything that you're getting here. And with the holidays, like I say, just around the corner, these are items that we could utilize. We've got stuff for baking, we've got drinks, and we've got cereal. Okay, now let's go on to our next scenario. Okay, for this scenario here, we're going to pick up three of the Canada Dry six-pack bottles. These are on sale this week, three for $8. We're also going to pick up two of the Clover Valley 32 packs of water. These are on sale during that three-day three day sale event that's going on. These are on sale, two for $6. Let's pick up two. And we're also gonna pick up two of the Cap and Crunch bags of cereal. These are $1 a bag, and we're gonna pick up two. You can either get the all berries, or you can get the Crunch berries. Okay, they're a dollar a bag. We need two of them. You can mix or match. Now, for this one here, we're going to enter our number into the digital keypad. And I know there's some of you that do receive this $3 off of 15 coupon. Again, I just want to show you different ways that we can utilize all of the coupons that Dollar General offers us in digitals or with our paper coupons as well. So for this scenario here, if you have a three off of 15, that will come off. Then our Canada Dry 7-Up DQ of $2 will come off. And our Quaker DQ of $1 will come off. Okay, so let's go over that again. We're gonna get three Canada Dry six pack bottles at three for $8, two Clover Valley waters at two for $6, and two Cap'n Crunch cereal at $1. That's a $16 subtotal. 
We're gonna enter our number into the digital keypad and our three off of 15 will come off. Now, not all of us get the three off of 15. So those of you that have a three off of 15, this is one way you can utilize it in this scenario. We're all, uh, the Canada Dry DQ of $2 will come off and the Quaker DQ of $1. That's $6 in coupons. $16 minus $6 in coupons. Ranch fam, it's an out of pocket of $10. Okay, seven items at $1.42 per item is already a great deal, right? But if you look, we're getting three six packs of soda or Canada Dry, and we're getting two 32 packs of water. So if we break those down into individual bo bottles, it's gonna be 82 bottles plus our two cereal, okay? So that's 84 items at 11 cents per item. Ranch fam, excellent deal. Again, these are drinks now for the upcoming holidays. You can't go wrong with this either. And it's an all digital scenario. Okay. If you guys have any comments, please leave them down below. Any questions, leave them down below and I will try to get back to you guys. Now, like I did mention throughout the video, I brought you guys different ways of how to utilize your digital coupons and your store coupons that are glitching. For those of you that get a three off of 15, I even put that into one of the scenarios for you guys. But again, my scenarios uh, that I bring to you all are just ideas that you can use. If you have every coupon that I show and you wanna utilize it the way I do here, excellent. But hopefully this inspires you guys to create your own scenarios, but, and these give you ideas on how you can group it. If for some reason you don't need, you know, all that water, well then don't utilize the water, you know, don't put the, don't do that scenario. But again, I just wanna bring you guys different ways of how to utilize your coupons. Please give this video a big thumbs up, share it with family and friends so we can all benefit from these savings. I hope you guys enjoyed all these all food scenarios. Um, close As we get closer to the holidays, I will be bringing a lot more food scenarios because we get a lot more coupons for those items. This is Jima. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share this video, and we'll talk to you soon.